What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another comic book haul because I have, I went back to BAM to, I was looking for something, I don't remember what it was, but I ended up going back through the boxes, short boxes again, five from comics, and then got some new hardcovers for my shelf, which I am excited to show off. So let's jump right into this with the issues, the single issues I picked up. Somehow I don't know if I saw this one or I just somehow missed it. They could have been new. I do believe they did add some more stuff in after my last trip because their boxes were rearranged a little bit. So they definitely added some more stuff in there. But here we go. This is Wildcats 20, The Wild Storm. We got Joe Casey and Steve Dillon. I'm not a big fan of Steve. I'm actually, I'm not a fan of Steve Dillon at all. But I just wanted to get the Wildcat. And also, I remember you see the character up in the corner art there. I found that I was looking through some other Wildcats book. So I was reor or bagging and borders of all her books. Her name is Mar. Wait, shit. No, Maxine. I almost called her Marcy. Her name is Maxine. I remember one time recently I was showing off some Wildcat books, and I said I like this character design, but I can't remember her name. The last time I read some books with her in it, it was years ago, and just completely forgot her name. But I just looked at those, Maxine. And then the rest we got some supernatural action because we got some uh, Dark Horse BPRD. Well, not this one. But the rest is some BPRD books. So this one is Joe Golem, Joe Golem, Occult Detective, number three of five. It was the only one I saw. I just grabbed it. It was like a dollar, whatever, or I paid under a dollar for it. But I just, I didn't know. I don't think I've ever heard of it before. But I was thinking Occult Detective, and I was just talking about this on Twitter. Hey, I like some, like some private detective, private investigator stuff. So here we go, The Outer Dark, part three. A Strange Tale of Supernatural Adventure by Mike Mignola, Christopher Golan, Patrick Reynolds, and Dave Stewart. So, Joe Golan, Golan, whatever, a cult detective. If you read this, let me know what you think of it, or what you thought of it, because I'm going to read the issues in the middle of a miniseries and just go for the hell of it, whatever. And next up we have, this is a one-shot, BPRD, Night Train. This one was, so we got Jeff Johns and Scott Collins. And then an appearance from what was uh, Lobster Johnson, yeah, Lobster Johnson. There, if you're familiar with uh, any of Dark Horse's work, and I'm trying to remember something about I forgot now. I was getting mixed up with the Dead, but something to do with uh, obviously Night Train. Something to do with some train, but I can't remember now. I looked it up. I just can't remember honestly. And then next up, we have four issues of I think this was actually a five issue miniseries, but. I only found these four unless I just missed the fifth one. Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense. BPRD the Dead, number one. Mike Mignola, John Arkady, and Guy Davis there. The Dead, so there's number one. And here's number two. And number three. I was all in the shot there. I'd be ashamed if parts of the cover were cut off. And number four, BPRD the Dead. So I read those and then I'm pretty sure my comment, I just added, I have to add the fifth issue to my want list and we'll see. And I'll probably read them before I even come across the fifth issue. And then if I decide I like it, then I'll pick it up or search for it maybe. MyComicShop.com probably has it in stock. But now, let's get to our... I'm going to save this one for last because that's the one I want to see most. All right. So, I got some cool hardcovers here. And they have... Two of these were marked down to 10 bucks, And then this one wasn't. But they have... So, BAM has a buy two, get one free going on with books. Uh, I think... Well, at least with graphic novels and pops. Because I know that's some of what I bought. And I don't know anything else. And I had I already get a 20% discount, educator discount. So that always helps in buying my buying decisions at BAM, especially with toys, which I've definitely ramped up on. So I was going through and I found uh, found a few books and I don't remember what I was initially looking for, but just go over there just to check every so often. And first up is you have the Flash. Uh, 80 years of the fastest man alive, the deluxe edition. There's only, I don't understand why they call it the deluxe edition though, because there's only the one edition. As far as I've seen with Batman, Superman, Robin, Joker, and Green Lantern, there's only the, like, just this 
the hardcover edition, so I don't know what the deluxe edition is supposed to mean. But celebrate comics history with the 80th anniversary of Flash Comics number one and the debut of The Fastest Man Alive. Featuring iconic stories selected from eight decades of The Flash, the first or the classic first appearances of all three Flashes, Barry Allen, Jay Garrick, and Wally West. I wonder why Barry Allen, they put him first. Probably because he's more popular, but I figured they would have went in order and had Jay first. Anyways, so there's a back there. Got Jay. And again, covered by Scott Williams, Jim Lee, and then in the background, like the kind of cover, cover gallery display in the background. That's cool. So let's slice this bastard open. And I'm hoping next year there will be, there will be a Wonder Woman one. And I do want the Superman one. I just haven't seen it anywhere. It's not. It's in stock on mycomicshop.com, but it comes paired with Batman. So I'm like, well, I already bought the Batman one, but uh, then I'll have an extra one. And it seems it'd be cheaper getting them. Like, it's like 25 bucks on there. So I don't know. Maybe if I catch, like, a discount one week or something. But anyways, let's crack this open really quick. So there's the inside. Flash. 80 years of the Flash, the fastest man alive. All the different Flash logos over the years. And just, uh, oops. It's another cover gallery there. Sons of the Flash. Jim Lee, Alex, Sin Alex Sinclair is the other creator for the cover there. So yeah, just decades of speediness. So we got an introduction by Dan DeDio. And there it is, Flash Comics number one. Didn't Hawkman appear in Flash Comics? Oh yeah, there he is right there. I thought it was a later issue though. Look at this. Old timey stories. Whew. So that's cool. I just like, again, just like the idea of these. Just decades of, you got some New 52 stuff in there. Just decades of stories from these characters. That's <laughs> great. It's a great piece just to have. So there's Flash Comics. And then next up, this one is not actually published by, actually these next two are not actually published by DC, but I'm gonna put them on my shelf in the DC section anyway because I don't care. So we have DC Comics Super Heroines. This is the 100 Greatest Moments. Uh, who's, it's by, whoops. Chartwell Books and the author, I don't know his first name, but it's Greenberg, I forgot what it was. Oh, there it is, Robert Greenberger. And, yeah, just a hundred moments. Great. They have a bunch of these. They have some of the super villains. I think Batman's super. Uh, did I see one for Batman? Maybe. I don't know. But he's done like this author Robert. He's done all of those, I think, and they've all been published by uh, Chartwell. And I like this piece here. In a few pages in, like this. Uh, is that right there? That's cool. But let me give you. So here is how they're all kind of laid out in alphabetical order. Kind of flatten that up a bit. And then like there's just a different number of moments. And I was actually kind of surprised that some of them didn't have more. Like, I think it was Batgirl. I looked at like all the Batgirls and they were all in one section. And it was just two just two moments. Like, well, Barbara Gordon has a bunch by herself. So and then Cassandra Kane. And then I wonder if that last one, I don't know. But then Batwoman's there, Birds of Prey, Black Canary, Catwoman, Wonder Woman, obviously he's gonna have a bunch. Supergirl, I didn't look for Power Girl before, did I? <gasps> oh yeah, there she goes, she got one. But yeah, so that's just kinda cool. And give you an idea. Oh, hey, look at that, Dr. Light. So this is just kind of, oh, they're kinda laid out, but they're all just kinda different. And some are, like the, <clears throat> the amount of information and in, for each entry kinda varies, so. Maybe all over the place. Got Amanda Waller. Fire and Ice. I like those. That was cool. Hawkwoman. Hawkman. Hippolyta. I think I listed as Hawkwoman, though. But I figured that was a se in separate identity altogether. But I don't know. Gypsy. Green Lantern. Jessica Cruz. That's cool. That's her name. She's so recent. So I wonder how long ago. I don't know when in this was actually published, but... But yeah, anyway, that's just kind of cool. Just a nice little piece of, like a, I don't know what you call it. I don't say history, but kind of. And then, last but not least, the the uh, book that I was really interested in, and this was like 10 bucks. So I ended up getting for less than that. But it was kind of cool. 
Wonder Woman, The War Years, 1941 through 1945. Now, I just wanted this great piece of history just to read some of Wonder Woman's earlier stories. And in a previous video, I was talking about Wonder Woman's history and just kind of uh, her time during the war. And here it is. We got, so you kind of see those stories here. Sensation Comics, her debut. I think it was Sensation Comics number eight. Was it? I don't remember. I feel like it was. But they have all that in here. This is just so dope. Like Charles Moston, you kind of, I'll show this one here. Wonder Woman. I just thought this was just so cool. It's like 10 bucks. What? And I get it cheaper than that? Hell yes, I want it. And also what happened was, so it was buy two, get one free, but it actually didn't include the bargain books, which this one and the superhero ones were. So they were marked down to 10 bucks. So they shouldn't have counted. But I didn't know that. So I bought them and I had my discount. And I was thinking, wait, the total seemed a little off. I got home and I was looking at the receipt. I was like, what? This seems wrong. So I was doing the math like, no, wait, this isn't right. So I went back. And like, oh, yeah. Like the, he went back to check. He's like, yeah, they weren't supposed to do that. Or they weren't supposed to be included in that. But if you're going to do I'm like, so you're going to do it for me? Otherwise, I'm going to like, I'll return you to the books. I don't need them right now. I only bought them at the moment because of the buy two, get one free sale. And I didn't know how long it was going to go on. So I would have kept the Wonder Woman though. But yeah, so this is just cool. I just like the idea of this older books or books that rather contain older stories and just kind of just seeing Wonder Woman's history from I don't, 80 years ago. That's just wild to think. And then where's, oh, there's this one panel I wanted to show because I have no idea who the hell this person or what the hell was going on in this story. But this dude just has this massive fucking head. I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him. I don't think I've ever seen him before, but Sensation Comics, but I'll just show you this. Like, just look at this. This is such cool. It's like just so cool. Do you guys have any, let me know in the comments below if you have any books like this that kind of are just reprints or collections of mad old stories. I just like the idea that those are just cool. They look cool on a bookshelf and everybody who's interest, interested in superheroes and just superhero history, because you got to just imagine the time, like this is the forties. Just think about that. Just like what was going on in the world. You have just economic, oh here it is. Who is this dude? I don't know. I haven't read this yet. I honestly have no idea. But look at the size of dude's head. Like, what is going on with this story? I have absolutely no idea. And it just makes me giggle. So, but yeah, uh, I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, it's just, just think about what's going on in the world and just, like, just society and just, it was just absolutely madness. And just them pushing out comics. And I talk about the war's influence on them. So a lot of the characters are you know, fighting, are involved in wars and fighting Nazis. We saw that a lot, obviously, with Captain America was a big part of that, Wonder Woman. And I don't think Batman was ever, I don't know, honestly, I've never thought about that before. If Batman's comics were ever kind of influenced by that type of stuff. Or was there, I don't know, did it show Batman's involvement in any of that? And I don't think so. But anyways, this is a... Uh, it was just kind of cool when I had it. I was like, oh, 10 bucks, I'll take that. So, yeah, this will be, that'll be a fun historical read. And, yeah, so we got that. Again, the Superhero ones, Greatest Moments. Again, there are a few of these out there. If you have any of these, let me know which ones you have. What do you think about them? And we got Flash. That was 80 years of the fastest man alive. This is cool. I would like all of these, honestly. Uh, Batman, well, not all of them, because I don't really care about getting the Robin and Joker ones. But... Batman, I have now Flash. I will get the Superman one, and then Wonder Woman should have one next year, I imagine. And I'll take the Green Lantern one. Depends on who. I hope it's not. It should have all. I mean, if this one has Barry, J, and Wally, so it should have all the Green Lanterns. That'll be. I mean, that'll be kind of interesting because there's just so many more Green Lanterns. And of course, got some Supernatural books from uh, Dark Horse and then Wildcats because it's Wildcats. So yeah, that's that. Nothing too crazy. Just some cool, cool single issues. I want stories. I want to check out. And then some dope part covers that should provide tons and tons of reading. Hours and hours upon hours of reading material. That's some historical stories there. So, yeah, that is that. Let me know what you think of my haul here. Whew, just cool stuff. These are great on my show. Let me know what you picked up recently, especially any hardcovers, trades, graphic novels, stuff. Just cool stuff that you picked up you know, that you wanted to try maybe or just kind of collected stuff. Newer stories. 
cool stories or like, hey, you just like stuff for your uh, bookshelf. So yeah, just let me know, drop that all in the comments below. So happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting. This is Gino the Dragon. Thanks for watching and peace out.